Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I certainly hope this video finds you in good health and in good spirits. Okay, what I'm up to today is I'm trying to formulate, record a video about the major settings, if you will, in an iPhone XS Max, the camera settings. I'm not talking about the way these cameras operate. I'm talking about the main settings in the big gear, if you know what I'm talking about. Okay, please excuse me if my voice sounds kind of weird or I bump this tripod because I'm in, a, <laughs> I'm in my kitchen recording this because the weather in Montana is real terrible right now and I'm working under some low light conditions. And just for the heck of it, just get this out of my hair, I am recording at 4K at 30 frames a second. Okay, this is just a guide, like I say, you know, a tutorial, take it for what it's worth. Okay, here's the box that this thing comes in. I just set this here for the, actually for a paperweight, to tell you the truth of the matter. You know, let me get that out of the way. Okay. I hand drew out this card yesterday. It's a big long winded card. It's put on card stock. It, you know, it took me quite a while. And yes, I realized that I could use screenshots and spend half a million hours in an editor and all that. But I am using my iPhone to record this. And this is the way I decide to do things. Okay. When you get in your camera settings menu right here, get my pencil here. The first thing you're going to run into is Preserve settings, okay. Tap in there. There's three things. Camera mode, creative controls, and live photo. This camera mode rem preserves or remembers the last mode you were in, whether it be picture or movie or whatever. I got that checked. Creative controls remembers the last, you know, editing controls you used. Uh, filters, uh, transitions. Uh, special effects, that kind of stuff. I don't need that remembered. And live photo, I don't need that. You may find that useful. Okay, whatever. Okay, moving on down, you're going to run into grid. Like right now, I'm looking at the screen on this iPhone, and there's a nice, elegant, real light, white grid uh, superimposed over this video. And what that does is it helps you center your subject matter. It's very useful. Turn it on. Trust me, don't argue. <laughs> Okay, I would recommend that you turn on scan QR codes, you know, them barcodes in stores, etc., etc. Okay, here's something that's very important. This record video. Okay, I could spend a lot of time talking about this, but this is what your can or your your movie, your you know, formatting or whatever have you is going to be all about your main settings. And I'm only recommending two. Now look, you can only check one, but if you want pretty decent videos and you don't want to mess up a lot of disk space, I just mess up. Listen to me. I've had too much coffee this morning. Forgive me. If you don't want to use up a lot of disk space, just use 1080p HD. HD at 60 frames a second. That'll that'll cover most sins when it comes to video. I personally like 4K at 30 frames a second. Okay, and that's why I got these two checked, but you only get to use one at a time, okay? Now this 60 frames per second, 4K at 60 frames a second, this is something new that Apple's dreamed up, and they've also dreamed up new Kodak. Get that straight. Understand that. You know, no understand and believe. HE, high definite, excuse me, high efficiency formatting is what this is all about. If you want to use that, you're going to have to format your camera to that. You have to use a format setting, okay? You don't reformat anything, erase anything, or nothing like that. Okay, I'll tell you more about that as I go along. Okay, right here, this. This area right here is going to explain to you what one minute of all of these different resolutions and frames per second is going to use up in disk space, okay? That's my own writing there. I didn't want to write all that stuff out. This card took me long enough to write the way it was. Okay, because the way I've got this form formatted my iPhone here, I recommend that you turn on auto low light frames per second. 
And what that does is in low light, it'll turn this 4K down to 4, 24 frames a second. It's supposed to look better, allow the shutter to stay open longer, etc., etc. It's my understanding, well, it's not my understanding, it's experiences I've been through. I have recorded some 4K at 60 frames a second, and it doesn't do well when it comes to low light. Okay, and like I say, there's some new Kodak involved here, so, you know, but I... I suggest you click that on, you know, and then lock camera. That's just so that your iPhone doesn't automatically change cameras. For whatever reason, that shouldn't be happening anyway, okay? Let me move up here to this slow-mo. Okay. Take a look at slow-mo here. And by default, because the way I've got my, my formatting set, which we'll get into that in a second, I'm defaulted at 720p HD at 240 frames a second. You can use whatever you want to, but you can't use 1080p HD at 240 frames per second unless you use that HE formatting. Okay, simple as that. And it also gives you, you know, examples of one minute recordings and how much disk space is required. Because 4K at 60 frames a second is really, really eats up disk space. Well, 4K at 30 frames a second really eats up disk space too. But, okay. Now, what I want you to pay attention to is this formats. This, this, this formatting or formats is the, really the crux of this video. I'm highly encouraging you to check most compatible, ladies and gentlemen, most compatible because of all the older devices that are out there. And I'll explain to you that in a minute. And this formatting in this case also means, you know, camera capture. This high efficiency uses this HEIF and HEVC formatting. Okay. Now read this. To reduce file size, capture photos and videos in the HEIF and HEVC format. Most compatible, which is what I've got checked, will always use JPEG and H.264, but 4K at 60 frames a second and 1080p at 240 frames a second require high efficiency. This is a futuristic, in the future, kind kind of formatting, guys, you know, and, and all of that kind of stuff, you know. You know, I know I've messed around with these files and can't really say as I quite dig in that high efficiency stuff. But anyway, as you move on down the menu in your iPhone, you're going to come to high dynamic range. I highly recommend that you check Smart HDR. Uh, what that does when you're using Smart HDR, when you take pictures, you know... <clears throat> Your iPhone takes like six or eight pictures, picks out the best three or four, sandwiches them all together into a smart HDR, high dynamic range photo. Okay, if you check this right here, keep normal photos, you'll get a normal photo, a smart photo, and, you know, and you'll get two photos. Okay, here is this Kodak that I've been blabbering about. Now, you got to understand this because, well, you don't have to understand anything, but... You know, this is the crux. If you've been wondering about the 4K and 60 frames and you've been having troubles, you know, offloading those kind of files and everything, well, this should put it in perspective. HEIF, that is actually pictures, okay? JPEGs. I would imagine, I'm thinking that in the future, what Apple's up to is getting rid of JPEGs. Uh, I don't see how that's possible. But that we'll be going to .heif files for pictures. High efficiency image format, okay? And then in video, this is key, pay attention, HEVC, their video is H, the codec is H264. Now, the standard in the industry for years, as you ladies and gentlemen know, has been H260 or 264. 
not, I meant to say 265. I've had too much coffee this morning. This, let me start all over. This HEBC is basically, the codec is H265, not 264. That's what I meant to say. Okay, <clears throat> it stands for High Efficiency Video Codec. Okay, now, one other thing that might be noted here, on this formatting, if you use high efficiency, if you check this, what's going to happen, if you go to offload your pictures out of your iPhone, okay, if you're going to use, let's say, like, AirDrop, iMessage, uh, email, and stuff like that, those files will convert on your iPhone to a, a lot smaller of a size so that you can share them. So if you want these native master high efficiency files, you're going to have to make sure that your PC or your Mac is set so that they will accept these native files and you're probably going to have to transfer them via USB or however you can figure out doing it. Personally, myself, I don't want to fool around with the, this new formatting and all that stuff because, like I say, these files are they're large. You know, they look okay and whatnot, happy, but this is going to cause a lot of problems for people that don't understand what's going on with this. The simple fact of the matter is, is high efficiency in this format setting right here is this, right here, just what I explained, H-E-I-F or H-E-B-C, okay? And they're in their, in their native state, those files are huge. I mean, they're twice, okay, the 4K 60 frames a second are twice as big as 4K at 30 frames a second, which is, you know, bad enough. <laughs> I know. Believe me, I know. I go in, you know, like right here, you know, and you have to have, you know, if you're going to do 4K at 60 frames a second, you've got to have that high efficiency enabled. I'm not recommending it. Okay, and that's the same way it is with slow-mo, too. If you want to do this, you know, uh, right here, 1080p at 240 frames a second, you're going to need that high HE formatting, high-efficiency formatting. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, that's really about all I've got to say. It took me a long time to draw this, this out, but this is why I wanted to do it. I hope I took some mystery out of this. I'm going to lower my can just, just for the heck of it, just because I can. I'm going to lower my camera here a little bit and show you the... And pull this back. Let me do, hang in here with me. I'm going to show you the length of this card. It took me half the afternoon yesterday to write this thing. Write this thing... Oh, out. Okay. I usually don't like fooling around with my tripod when I'm doing this, but... And, by the way, while I'm thinking about it, you can, you know, you can use, you know, screenshots or, or you know, stop the video. Hope I didn't go too fast, but, yeah, there's the whole nine yards right there. Anyway, a lot of work, ladies and gentlemen. That is a kind of a, a, you know, a replication, if you will, of what the menu in an iPhone looks like, okay? All right, I'm at 14 minutes. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. We'll see you on down the trail.